Tip number 175 from the book 501 Contractor Tips, Fictitious Names. Um, you can actually have a your construction company name. So my construction company name, for example, is Greg Vandenberg Construction Company. It's a little long, but I can actually get a doing business as, which I might cover that in here. I think that is, I cover that in the next one. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on that. But I actually had a company before called Reliable Construction Services. This was a fictitious name. My name was nothing associated with it. So I actually had to go down to the county. I believe it was the county recorders, county um, assessor. You go down to their office, get the paperwork, you fill it out, and then you have to run an ad in the paper for three days, I believe. And this is all something that... Um, the county, the business department, they're all familiar with this. So if you just go down to the county, explain your situation or, or the city, wherever, you, wherever you're doing, um, and explain yourself, and they'll usually point you in the right direction. Again, a phone call could probably save you a lot of grief here too. And of course, now with the internet, I would imagine you can go on the internet and get all this information. But I'm just uh, uh, sharing it with you. Don't think that you can go in there and just write a name out, any name that you want, um, without actually verifying that it isn't already taken. Now, the good news is that it goes from uh, city or county to county. So if you live in a different county, you have a friend of yours and you like their, their construction name, you can start the same company. You know, I should say most of the time, I've never heard anybody not having a problem with that. So you, can, you need to go down there check to see if the name's taken. If it isn't, you pay your fees, everything has a fee to it, and then you do what's required and then you have a fictitious name. Without the fictitious name um, paperwork, you're not gonna be able to start a bank account using that name either. So doing business as is totally different. Fictitious names will require the, the correct paperwork to have a separate bank account um, for that particular company.